Up until this point, there weren't very many apps, or any at all, that could actually generate full words. So, if you want to generate a company logo with your actual company name beneath the logo, you were kind of out of luck. But that's all changing now, because with ChatGPT and Dali, you can now generate some very good looking logos utilizing full words. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you a ton of prompts that you could use, including some prompt generators. For hundreds of prompts to try, click the links in the description. Now stay tuned because all the prompts you see in this video won't necessarily be in the link in my description. That's because I want to really perfect these a little bit more. So take some of these and try them and tell me which ones you think work best for you. Okay, now check this first one out. It's very simple and I'll put the prompt on your screen right now. It says, an esports neon logo of a mule with purple headphones. The text mule SEO is underneath the logo. Now these look incredibly impressive. However, notice the fact that only two out of the four actually got it just right. But these really do look extremely good. So. After I went ahead and I gave it this simple prompt, now below, look what it says. It says, here are the eSport logos designed for Mule SEO. So not only does it give you four images, it's also gonna give you four other prompts to try. If you don't like any of these four, or if it didn't get it all right, take one of the four it gives you below and then copy and paste that in a separate window and see if it could generate any other thing that looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and try one of these right now. I'll go ahead and copy and paste option number two, since this one looked like it might've got it right. So go ahead and open up a new chat, come in here, make sure you have GPT-4 activated, Dolly turned on and then come and then just simply come to the bottom and then let's just go ahead and paste this and then now see what it can come up with okay now look at that it did give us three and again at the bottom it says apologize for the inconvenience it's experiencing higher in demand however look at this now now we have two out of the three did a pretty good job let's go on to the next one okay so now moving on to the next one you can see this prompt is a little bit longer and unfortunately it didn't really get it right except for the first one here's the full prompt right here and I think we can change things up a little bit it could give us some better looking images but for example this one did look pretty good so I might actually keep that one okay so here is the next one I want to show you this is actually going to be a logo prompt generator so what you want to do is just copy this whole entire prompt into chat GPT okay so it basically says it's acting as a digital logo curator so then what you want to do is just replace the words, subject, and style with something else that you want. So here is how this prompt generator works. I went ahead and copied and pasted the prompt in, and then I want the words lion to appear. Now you can see in this case, it only got one out of three right, but it got the subject right, a lion's face, and then style neon. Okay, so now look at this next prompt generator I have right here. This did a pretty good job, okay? Here's the prompt generator you wanna use and paste in. I need you to become the ultimate prompt generating machine. Create me a prompt that actually generates prompts specifically for AI images with doll E3. If some of these characteristics don't really fit what you're looking for, feel free to remove them or even add some different ones of your own. So then at the very end, it says, your first response will be a question back to me asking what you want my prompt to be about. Do you understand? And then just like that, here's what ChatGPT says. It says, yes, I understand. It just confirms what you want. Now at the bottom, it says, what specific subject or theme would you like the image prompts to be about? And then here we go. I just basically told it a logo of a blue wave then the text waves is underneath it and again it did a pretty good job now you could see it didn't get the text right on all of them but my favorite one would be this first one right here this did a phenomenal job but i don't really want photorealistic underneath the word waves now that could be cropped out very easily in a tool like photoshop or canva however what if you don't want to do that well you can just simply change the prompt up a little bit and maybe remove the word photorealistic however once I tried this a few different times, I get a different variation, but that is where this can come into play. Now, let me show you a little trick. Now, keep this in mind. Go ahead and then download this image right here. So if you have something that really works and there's something additional added that you don't want, and now what you want to do is open up a new window and go ahead and turn Dolly off, okay? And just go to default. Now, with that image downloaded, here's what we want to do right now. What we're going to do is down here at the bottom, I want you to select this attach image button. Go ahead and then now bring that image in that we just made, okay? So now we're going to upload this image that we just created 
on Dolly here in ChatGPT. Now what we're gonna say is what prompt was used to make this image? Now copy and paste that below and then hit enter. And now what it's gonna do is give you a prompt specifically to create a image similar to this one. Then what you can do from there is then copy and paste that prompt and then try that again and see if you can get some different or some better results to your liking. Okay, now look at this, very helpful right here. It tells me how this prompt was made, but then it also says the word photorealistic was misspelled. So maybe that is a little bit problematic. So let's try this again. Let's just say if you're interested in its origins, let's just try it again and now tell it where we got this photo made. Okay, now check this out. I said the photo was made with Dali. Please generate prompts to make a similar photo. And then it did just that for me. It says, if you did this, you need a textual prompt to guide the generation. For an image similar, here are a variety of prompts that you could try. And then just like that, it gives us four. So what you can do here now is you could take one of the four of these prompts and now copy and paste any of these prompts utilizing Dali until eventually you get something that you like and a little bit better. Let's say I like number three. Now let's just go ahead and copy this one right here and then go back to doll E being turned on. And now let's go ahead and paste this prompt in and then see what doll E can come up with. Okay, now bam, look at that. Now I would say, again, it got three out of the four, not bad. First one, second one, not so much, but then the bottom two, pretty much a good job. So good variation. But again, you could try this a little bit over and over again, and you'll finally get what you're looking for. So not only does Doll E provide you with the images with words you want, it then will give you a series of prompts and other prompts that you could try until you get the one exactly right. Now let's go back to a very simple prompt. Here it is, a logo of kangaroo on a computer, and then the text kangaroo is under the logo. Now I find this works very well when all you have to do is just give it a simple command. A logo of a kangaroo on a computer and then put that slash or that capitalized L and then say the text kangaroo is under the logo. In this case, this got it pretty much well. Now here is a very good prompt. Now it doesn't focus on any words, but a very good prompt nonetheless to generate a futuristic style neon element. In this case, I said, imagine you're creating a cutting edge logo for a futuristic company. The design needs to be a neon lion. Now this can also be a prompt generator for you. Just replace whatever a neon lion is with anything else of your own. And now look how easy this one is. Again, another simple one, an eSports neon logo of a lion in a blue jacket. Separation, the text lion is under the logo. Now, I feel like this variation or this type of prompt has been working the best for me. Simple and then segmented and then you tell it what the actual text you want it to be right underneath it. And so we have, again, Two out of the four, 50%, not bad. Actually, now I wanna move on to a prompt I actually got from the Twitter handle, Chase Lean. This one did a phenomenal job. Now, although this prompt is specifically utilized to create stickers, I found that it did a fantastic job to generate something similar to a logo, but utilizing this sticker prompt. Check this out. So I have my prompt down here and I'm gonna paste it. And it basically says at the bottom, Custom sticker design on an isolated black background with the words The Legend 27 in bold font decorated by mythical dragons and a flaming sword. Okay, boom, and then there you have it. We got three instead of four, but notice at the bottom it says, I apologize for the inconvenience. Dali is currently experiencing high demand. Well, that's okay. It did give us some good looking logos. Okay, so unfortunately, since ChatGPT and Dali are experiencing a lot of traffic right now, and it is kind of being painfully slow, I won't let that stop us from sharing and showing you all of the amazing prompts that could generate images for you. So what I'll do moving forward is I'll put every prompt on the screen with the accompanying image right next to it. So I'll show you each prompt and then the photo that matches and goes with every prompt up on your screen. That way you can go through all of these, try them for yourself, and I'll give you enough time to take a screenshot or even pause the video and write the prompts down for yourself. So I'll show you every prompt and every image that goes with it. Tell me what you guys think. What prompts did you like the best and which ones work best for you? Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But until then, we'll see you next time.